Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I don't think I've ever been so excited to film a video. I have some very, very, very exciting news. I'm sure you've already gathered what it is from the title of this video, but I'm gonna tell you again anyway. So for the last few months, I have been working on my very own line of yarn which I am so bloody excited about. It is actually available right now. So if you don't want to miss out, go and check out the Maker website right now um, before you watch this video because I don't know, maybe it'll sell out. I don't know, it probably won't, let, let's be honest. That's just me being hopeful. But it's available right now. I scheduled this video for the exact time the yarn goes live. So if you're watching this, the yarn is now available. All links in the description down below. Anyway, now that I've got that out of the way, let's jump into the video properly. <laughs> So in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through all of the yarn that I'm going to be releasing. I will be going through all the colors, the names of the colors, all the specs, everything like that. Now, I feel like I need to do a little bit of a backtrack because I feel like some of you probably don't realize that I have my own product-based business. So obviously, yes, I make YouTube videos and I sell patterns and things like that, but I actually have an entire other business um, called Maker where I sell crochet and knitting supplies. And I've been doing that for quite a while now, since 2019. And I don't really talk about my product-based business on here very much because I just never wanted to come across as that person that's just here to try and sell you things because that's literally not what I'm about. Obviously, yes, I want to sell things because you know, what's the point of having a business otherwise, but I don't want to be that really salesy, constantly at you to buy things person because that's just not who I am. So anyway, that's why I don't really talk about my business on here, but I will be talking about it a lot more from this point on because obviously I have all my own yarn now and that's what I'm going to be using in all my videos. So I have no choice but to talk about it now, but anyway, that's just a little bit of info in case you weren't aware that I did have my own product based business as well as everything else I do. Anyway, let's jump into these yarn collections. I am so, so excited. I hope you guys love them. I really, really do. I, I love them, but I just hope you guys love them. You can never be sure. Okay, so first up we have the Dirty DK collection. And as I'm sure you can tell by the name, it is a DK weight yarn or an eight ply equivalent. I'm just gonna stand up and show you guys the label so you can see what it looks like because I don't think it's really showing up well with the lighting. So this is what it looks like. It is a 100% acrylic yarn. It comes in 200 gram skeins or approximately 333 meters per skein. It's machine washable, which we love. The recommended hook slash needle size for this, I would say is between a four millimeter to five millimeter, but obviously that just depends on what you're making. And the price point for the Dirty DK is $8.50 Australian per skein. It comes in 10 amazing colors, which I'm gonna show you right now. Before I show you the colors, I just wanted to mention that every collection has a little bit of a theme going on with the color names. So I guess we could have a little bit of fun and see if you can guess what the theme is. I mean, it's quite easy. I'm sure you'll get it straight away, but anyway, I thought that could be fun. <laughs> okay, sorry I'm so close, but I obviously wanna get close enough to show you all the colors. I've tried to adjust the lighting so these colors are as true to color as I can get, but obviously colors could vary just depending on screens and lighting and things like that. So just keep that in mind. First up, we have this blue color, which you've already seen. This color is called Morpho and it's just a beautiful, light, bright blue color. Next up, we have the color Duckling and as you can see, it's just a beautiful, bright gold. Next we have Anemone, which is a beautiful, vibrant purple. Then of course we just have a classic white color. This color is called Angora. 
Next we have an amazing hot pink. This color doesn't show up very well on camera. Hot pink and red, nightmares to try and film, but I'm trying to get it, you know, as good as I can. Um, this color is called Flamingo. And yeah, it's a stunning hot pink color. Next, the other one that's hard to film is this red color. And this is called Parrot. It's just a beautiful, bright red. Classic. Next, we have the color Rooster. And this is just a beautiful, bright orange. Next up, we have another pink. And this one is called Galar. This is a little bit of a softer pink than the one you saw before, which was more of a hot pink. This is more of a softer... I guess more muted tone, but is still quite bright at the same time. Next, we have one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites of the whole collection. And this one is called Caterpillar. It's a beautiful green, which is very on trend at the moment. I've seen this color everywhere since ordering this yarn. So I was like, mm, damn, I made, I made the right choice. Absolutely stunning. I love this color so much. And then last, but definitely not least, we have this other green color, which of course is a little bit lighter than the one you just saw. And this color is called Amphibian. It is a beautiful, I wouldn't even say it's a lime green. I mean, I guess it is kind of a lime green, but it's a little bit darker than your traditional lime green. I don't know, but I love it. This is again, one of my favorites. I'm obsessed with green at the moment. So that wraps up the Dirty DK collection, which is collection number one. Collection number two is the Aaron and Eve. Again, I'm sure you've put two and two together and have guessed that this is an Aaron weight yarn. Also a 10 ply equivalent. Now with 10 plies, traditionally they come in two different types. Worsted weight is usually a little bit finer and Aaron is more on the chunkier side. So I just wanted to explain that in case you weren't familiar with, I guess the US terms for yarn, because for some unknown reason, 10 ply tends to come in two different types, being the worsted and the Aaron. So this is an Aaron, which is a little bit chunkier than the worsted. So if you do order this and you receive it and you think, damn, that's too chunky, that's not a 10 ply, it is technically a 10 ply, but it's an Aaron and not a worsted. A worsted is probably closer to an eight ply thickness. So the Aaron and Eve also comes in 200 gram cakes. As you can see here, it is wound into a cake, which I love. It means it's beautifully center pull friendly. I love a center pull. You get about 250 meters per cake and the recommended hook and needle size, I would say is between a five and a seven millimeter. This one is also machine washable, amazing. The price point for this is going to be $8.50 Australian per cake. And it comes in seven beautiful colors, which I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so here is the purple color that you would have seen. This is just a little bit closer up. This is a beautiful lilac color. And this colorway is called Macaroon. Next, we have another beautiful green because like I said, I'm obsessed with green at the moment. And this one is called Apple Pie. And it is like a beautiful muted lime green, I suppose. Next, we have this beautiful peach color. The name of this colorway is called Parfait and I absolutely love this color. It's such a beautiful soft peach. Next up we have this beautiful soft yellow which I'm also obsessed with. I mean I'm obsessed with every color to be honest um, and this colorway is called Creme Brulee. Next, of course, we just have a classic white. This one is called Pavlova. Next, we have this beautiful blue color and this one is called Jelly. Again, just a nice soft blue. And last but definitely not least, we have this beautiful pink color. It is called Cake Pop. So that wraps up the Aaron and Eve collection. Next up, we have the third and final collection and it is called A Blend Moment. And as I'm sure you can tell again by the name, this is a blended yarn. So it is 45% cotton and 55% acrylic. So it's a cotton acrylic blend. It comes in 100 gram skeins 
or you get about 190 meters per skein. The recommended hook or needle size is probably going to be between a four millimeter to a five millimeter. Sorry, I forgot to say that this is also a DK slash eight ply equivalent. And the price point for this yarn is going to be $6.99 per skein. Again, it is center pool friendly, which we love. A blend moment comes in 10 beautiful colors. So I will show you those now. So this is the first color. This is a beautiful bright orange and this color is called Carnelian. Then we have this beautifully vibrant yellow and this color is called Citrine. I feel like the camera doesn't really do this justice. It is very vibrant, like it's beautiful. I don't know if you guys can tell. But anyway, it's very bright, it's beautiful, stunning. Next, we have a classic red color. This color is actually beautiful. It's a, it's bright, but it's more of like a crimson red. Like it is stunning. I love it so much. And this colorway is called Garnet. Next up, we have this beautiful pink color and this color is called Rhodonite. Next up, we have this beautiful neutral color and this collection is the only collection that actually includes a neutral. So I decided to bring in a neutral for this collection being summer um, because I feel like the cotton acrylic blend is more of a summery vibe. But anyway, this colorway is called Jasper and it's just a beautiful sandy neutral tone. Next up, once again, we have a classic white, not much to say about it. This colorway is called Selenite and it's white. Next up, another color that's really hard to film, which is black. This colorway is called Obsidian, and this is also the only collection that includes a black. I didn't really know if anyone still works with black. I know a lot of people don't like working with black because it is very hard to see, but I thought I would include a black in this collection. Next up, we have this beautiful blue color. It is kind of halfway between a baby blue and a royal blue. Um, as you can see, it's not super muted, but it's not super bright at the same time. Um, I'd say it's probably more of like a sky blue, which I love. And this colorway is called Sodalite. Next up, another one of my favorites because I am obsessed with green at the moment. This one is called Malachite and it is the most beautiful. I don't even know how to describe this green. I wouldn't say it's an emerald. I wouldn't say it's a forest green. It's just a beautiful, it's just a beautiful shade of green. I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> and then of course, last but not least, we have this beautiful lilac muted purple color. This colorway is called Amethyst. And again, it's just a beautiful muted purple. Well, that wraps up all three of my very first yarn collections. I am so, so, so excited to hear what you all think. I'm posting this video at the exact same time the yarn goes live on the Maker website. So by the time you finish watching this video, it will be available for you guys to purchase. As I said, I cannot wait to hear what you all think. I love it, but I just hope you guys love it too. Please feel free to share your feedback. I'm always open to constructive feedback. If you have any questions at all, as always, please feel free to comment down below and I will do my very, very best to answer. That wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you will be notified of all my future videos. I will see you in my next video. Bye.